हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आथरल स्टूडियो दिस इज़ अनुजा एंड टुडे वी आर इन आर डे फोर ऑफ सांथल पेंटिंग सो इफ यू कैन सी मी एंड हियर मी वेल जस्ट ऑडियो एंड अ वीडियो चेक प्लीज टाइप इन अ येस एंड देर फॉर वील बी स्टार्टिंग सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी एंड येस वी हैव डन फ्यू ऑफ द सांथल पेंटिंग्स बिफोर दोज हु हैव जॉइंड इन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई विल बी जस्ट showing you the glimpse of those as well and the one which we were doing yesterday we started the drawing was complete with the background so this is how it it was so but the figures are still um, not painted we will be painting the figures today so this is the santhal uh, paintings these are the tribal paintings from jharkhand and some parts of the west bengal so when we talk about bengal also today i'll just talk about uh, some culture uh, thing there we see that jharkhand bengal and uh, bihar those have lot of um, hand painted stuff and very popular it's get, it's getting very popular plus we also see that uh, in uh, andhra pradesh orissa those all the places have a very rich drawing uh, culture like paintings folk arts not only those areas in gujarat there are many places which have very good handicrafts crafts and um, with material whereas some places it's on uh, paint and brushes so we will start okay thank you vishali um, i got a yes you all can hear very well and see as well i will be starting with uh, the painting of the figures today i will also uh, announce i i have already announced in my previous uh, session also and i will be um, again announcing that the next painting sessions will be on sorai paintings and sorai paintings are santhal paintings in santhal in santhal paintings sometimes we make we draw and paint people like couples different people in their routine lives and festivities dra- dances and all whereas some places you will see a lot of beautiful borders is a part of santhal painting which is not here in the paintings uh, like we are doing there is no border here but in um, in those tribes the houses are painted with beautiful borders plus there is also the motives of animals and birds and they have a very beautiful rawness in it and uh, very uh, striking colors striking colors very similar to this uh, sorai art which we will talk in the next sessions there is a similarity between sorai arts and different parts of madhupani painting also madhupani painting is, as i have discussed before are five types of paintings the especially the godna a style of godna is very very similar to sorai so there is a, a mix and um, some places they share the same grounds and some places they differ so that is to be taken in the sorai uh, art it's very very beautiful art i i must say i will be placing it on the table so that um, we can get started with the work here um this was the painting that we did and i will be using doms poster color there is nothing like we should be using doms or camel or faber castell any poster color is okay so there i will be using few because the base is already done the broad brush work is done and now i'll be taking some thin brushes to do the detailing and the filling also so for filling probably i'll take a little bigger one these are all the synthetic brushes and the palette that i will be using is the same palette that i did on this so here it was yellow ochre the background and the bottom here was the grass this was done with poster green color and later white and poster green was added to get this color and these lines were done with a fine brush the flowers on the top of the uh, flowering uh, flowerings were done with yellow lemon yellow and few with white so this was our session that we did yesterday now today we will go ahead to do the painting of the whole thing so generally what colors to take for the skin and what colors to take for the 
uh, what color to take the for the skin and what color to take for the dress is up to you you can always go on a lighter and a sh uh, darker shades as per your wish it's not like that the males will be dark or the females will be light nothing like so so here i will be taking burnt sienna generally we do not make it we don't make it very very bright colored uh, because of the tribe and the tanning in the outdoor work so this is burnt sienna or uh, if you are doing it in acrylic here this is a general brown color if you are do using the cakes or the doms um, cakes then just take a brown shade any shade of brown would do and not all the men will you will just do it in brown you can just mix a little bit of the shade to give it darker tone so i'll take a burnt umber kind of a shade and that shade i can get by adding a little bit of black when i say little bit it's really teeny weeny very little bit to get a very dark color so see to it that it doesn't turn out to be just black it is a very dark shade of brown you can just balance the color according to your wish it should not look very very dark also so that it looks like black so here i got a burnt umber kind of a shade which is a chocolate kind chocolate brown kind of a color i will do this male with this there is no shading done so just fill flat coloring do not add too much water because then your color will get transparent there will be you want it opaque so it's a very beautiful dark brown color when we do a person with this brown color how would we uh, differentiate between the hands and this it's all joining together we will do it in a while to show you how the highlights or the separation between the body parts is shown just flat filling all the people have lean structures and long hands and long feet and thin ones sometimes when you will see the uh, so, uh, santhal paintings you will see that it's very unnatural the standing posture is very unnatural and plus the uh, sometimes we see that it's not even having the curve the angles to the hand it's like a doodled kind of a tube like thing that is also a style in it so with this and i will just go with the same similar shade not very dark so in the same color i'm just adding a little white because all will be with similar shades of the skin so i'm just taking white and i'll just take the same color brown and add it here depend on what you like see to it that it is coming strikingly beautiful against the background color okay I just made a little lighter shade you will notice that the details of the pen 
where the eyebrows and all were made is all hiding now under this color we will be doing those details again Yeah, brown is looking nice. Yeah, that's what the color is. The browns and the grays also. We do gray color also. I will make that shade also. So all the four will be standing with a different skin tone. We are done with this part. I'll just wash it off and make another shade of another shade of uh, skin. I'll take white. Now I'm not making a brown shade. I'll just take white over here. I'll take little bit of black to make gray, but that gray is not very. I'll just take a little blue also in it to give it a beautiful. Mix it nicely. You can balance the color more if in case you want. I'll just take a little bit of blue also to give it a different shade. Yeah. So this is getting even better gray. I'll place this gray, grayish blue for this lady. Start filling it from one con corner so that you do not get too many strokes. It's a must have thing to make at least one drawing of each folk style and make your own collection to it, right? Uh, that's a beautiful way of learning as well. I would suggest that while you're drawing, while you're making it, follow the tutorial, make the thing and write the main points also because we tend to uh, get confused into difference between all of them. If we do not practice it on a regular basis so on the paper on the back side of the same picture you can just with a pencil write down the jottings or the main points and then you will know that over a period of time like 10 12 15 20 how many art you are making you will develop the fondness for those art styles and it will be very easy for you to um, uh, categorically um, place yourself in like knowing more about different cultures and the amalgamation what are the changes happening what is the similarities what are the differences what is so getting into the small details of it it's always good to practice a little more with it and seeing is a different thing of course I will say that trying and doing is always always a beautiful experience so at least one and if you do that do share it with me if you are doing it um, 
if you're posting on instagram do follow me there and you can tag me so that i get to see what all work you are doing here now i'll just i've taken a little more dark on this side for this Good evening, Sumita. Good to have you. From November onwards, we are also starting our portrait sessions where you will be doing a lot of uh, portrait study, how to make the faces and realistic portraitures. If you are keen to learn, you can just message me. And uh, we'll share the, all the details. Those will be done in the private sessions. Just a second. So the skin part is done. A little yellow. For this squash it's made with that and now we will go to the dresses dresses can be bright I mean like they are of course bright and you can mix two colors also together to make a uh, shade so I'm just taking red which is the poster red beautiful color bright color so that all the white lines that we will be doing later on will really shine out in this though both brown and red are very much similar it's not showing the contrast here but when the lines will come with white it will definitely stand out so there's a li this little difference where always keep it in mind that your white has to come and that is like the most bright and the shining outline to add we can just have it fill different places don't worry too much on the line because you will be doing the outlines also later on with black. So I'll just open all my colors so that I can just pick all quickly. It's orange.
just flood in the color without any details as of now just taking light green from the poster colors and we will do now since the green is here it comes by your own understanding whether you want the greens to be over here or on the top I will just do do it at a few places so just scatter the color there is no matching uh, dresses for them it's not like all reds or all greens or anything it's whatever color fits in wherever it is good I'm just roughly just filling it up because there will be a lot of line to uh, highlight all of this. This is a small thing. I'll just take the sari of it going on the different side. The sari of it is going this side I'll just do and I will just make the body a little more open from here so I'll just do it quickly I'll do that change fast you can just have a look this is the sari and here it goes like this I'll just wash and pick my same gray color where which I took for this one to fill up here okay so because the side curve I wanted to have a little that should show now here what color you want to uh, me to do you can just type in if in case we have any good suggestion for the color of this dress so let's see if any what color we have not done I think blue we have not done if you agree we can just start with that uh, yes um, there's a question uh, ma'am do you take classes for the kids as well if yes how can we join those classes yes we I do take classes for kids the classes for kids is also segregated in different levels and as per the child's level we'll take the child in the classes they do all sorts of uh, work there oil pestles soft pestils acrylic uh, mixed media everything everything they do if in case uh, you are interested you can just you are there on the group i think smitha on the whatsapp group you can message me or you can message me on my facebook so if in case you do not have plus just let me know and you can direct message me so the classes for kids would start from the age of six it will go till the, from the age of six and then after that there is a level where we do the for the teens and adults and after that adults so all the levels it is it's a beautiful thing that everybody should start learning at a diff, at whatever comfortable age you get the time whenever you feel the inspiration to start your art please do start it's such a beautiful uh, de-stressing thing and plus you start love it's your self love as i say it's a healing process it's not about how beautiful your things are becoming eventually when you will practice this it will come definitely very very beautiful but there is nothing like we target actually okay this has to be like this just let yourself free loosen up yourself in creativity and start creating things later on on the when you'll get into the journey you will crave for more and more 
and then there will be a time when you'll want to learn and be more appropriate in terms of uh, uh, proficiency okay you'll get proficient that will happen so here you go jaya i took that light blue color from you i sorry i couldn't mention so jaya suggested blue and here it is now we will take a few of the random colors for these instruments i'll take my brown because brown and black the same umber color which is the dark brown color for the drums so I'll, i just mixed to the whatever the skin color i had made this color i've added a little more onto this and i got again the brown and the black and i'm just coloring the whole thing you will see all the details getting covered up but do not worry there is the color white that will highlight in everything so here i'm just giving a little line so you'll see how it gets beautiful I'll change the color of this reason being that the skin is also the same so let's not uh, do too much into uh, the same color and I'll take the yellow ochre a little yellow ochre and orange to get a beautiful nice orange color but not very bright orange with ochre will not make it very bright it will just dull down the color as like a ripe pumpkin color of halloween it's just the same a jack o lantern color and here i'll just take black for my detailings on um, hair so here i'll just take little black mix it get nice color and we will start doing the hair so after we do the hair it everything pops out beautifully and then we will start with the detailing i don't remember but somebody asked uh, me whether we can have the hair open and of course we can and this was the um this was a figure where the hair is open it's not tied for ma males also it's not well groomed so they can have a little short cut hair but still not like too much of grooming here I'll just do this with black. Black and white. Oh yeah, Masha me yeah. I just forgot the name so sorry about that. Marsha me to the WhatsApp group. Yes, I will add. Uh, I'll just, I'll just share the link after we are done with this.
I'm just finding, trying to find a place where my color is not wet and I can keep my hand. I think I forgot this thing which has to be in green because the cloth has been tied. We'll just catch up on that and we'll do it green after I'm done with my black. So what brush I'm taking is around a six uh, round. Your strength in any of these folk paintings will be your smooth strokes. And the, the lines are not very fine. So they are bold lines. These are bold lines. So they come very striking. Um, it's very prominent. So this, it highlights everything. You can take a thinner brush uh, for line. I'll just uh, have to turn uh, to keep my hand later. I'll just wait for it to dry a little. I'll just shift it. We also give the lines for the lean structure when we do, we can make the ribs and all. These are the small details to add. I'll just switch to a little thin brush. My brush is really, really... Thick. It was a six round and I'm just changing to a liner brush now to give fine lines. So this is my liner brush. I have introduced this brush yesterday also. So with this thin, I'm just giving the inside details and uh, I have kept the lines bold. In our previous, um, I mean like just before our San, uh, Santhal paintings, we were doing the, uh, the art forms from Jamini Roy and many of the paintings are inspired. He was also inspired by the Santhal tribe. And how did he do all of that? How did he went in doing such kind of work and leaving his own style, which he was trained in? So if you have not check that please check because when we uh, see um, Jamini Roy's painting we do sometimes see that the ladies they are they have a very angular posture and they do stand in a very different distinctive manner it is very much taken from the Santhal paintings first then the second is that in even if uh, in, he was inspired a lot from this it was not only the Santhal uh, folks it was also from the Sorai art which was 
they used to paint the motifs motifs as in uh, dogs animals birds and when we see that it looks quite inspired from the terracotta work that these people do they were clay potters also in this and the small toys and other things made from that so we do see that there are uh, in jamini roy also we see a lot of such free strong strokes thick strokes wherein they start with a very uh, very uh, distinctive body and while they are just going it tapers down and give a feather headed thing so the stroke is so confident and it is very much seen in this also i mean like this is much more like a easy going method easy going way whereas when we did for jamini uh, jamini roy's painting we tried to replicate it and talk more about it while we did it you will get to know about santhal santhal also and um, so these are small decorations you may or may not add it it's up to you Oh, my video has stopped and I'll just fix it in a minute. So sorry about this. Please uh, spare some time with me so that I can put this. Okay, just a second just please be there for a minute and then we will start We are trying to fix the trouble and uh, we'll, by the time if in case you have any questions you can type in and we'll see answer them. So any questions anybody has can type in. I'll answer all of them. While we'll just continue, I'm just trying to revive my uh, overhead camera and then we will start. Yeah, the link of the WhatsApp group has been shared in the chat. Those who have, those who have uh, not, those who are not added can add themselves on it. If you... Uh, if you want to share it among communities or people who you think might be interested in art, you are free to do that. So as many people would join, it's good. And they can continue doing the workshops with us. All the workshops on the YouTube will be all free, not charged at all. Just a second. Okay, my camera. So we'll just edit it now. Okay. 
ओके बीना गांधी थैंक यू सो मच फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग यस ऑफकोर्स बीना जी वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन जस्ट चेक एवरी थिंग इट्स नॉट लाइक वी इट्स दिस इज डिफिकल्ट वेन वी स्टार्टेड दिस इट केम इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम अ वेरी सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर एंड फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड द थर्ड सेशन इफ यू वुड हैव अटेंडेड दैन इट इज दैन इट विल बी ईजी फॉर यू सो इफ यू हैव मिसड ऑन टू दैट प्लीज चेक एंड देन वी कैन it will be easy if in case still uh, attire of a small girl vaishali okay when we see even if it is a small boy or a girl they will be wearing half sari so it's not that um, it's not that um, it will be any other dress so it's not that now since people have started moving and now it's not the same tribal affair for them then it is a different story now people are using different is it ready just a moment so now it is different but it wasn't the same so this half sari was a tribal thing that all of them were wearing even if it is was a small girl there was no stitched garment is it kya aapki Okay. There is some um, charging issue that has come up, and it's not getting 
activated the camera so we'll just see for a moment I don't try to okay uh, I'll answer the question Rekha okay I'll just answer to your questions and uh, then we in case it's not being um, done then I don't try to change much but get a feel of what you are trying to convey I will send post something that it, um, as you did yeah yeah you can actually um, post all the pictures that you try on Instagram if you have an Instagram account you can do that otherwise you can post it on Arthrill, um, Arthrill Studio Facebook group and um, I'll share the link there as well you can join there and you can post your pictures there I will get to see so um, is it a lamp shade in the corner is made by you no it is it's not made by me i just went uh, to dili heart once and then i got this so it's not made by me other than that all the things that are at the back are made by me and many more which are done by my students in uh, different sessions uh, thank you thank you yes we have acrylic painting classes also we have uh, kids classes also we have a lot of uh, sessions where we do different levels of paintings we will be doing a lot after diwali and in november also so new workshops will be coming up so stay with us i'll just do the outline and show you the effect of this the camera sadly i'm not able to revive it but uh, here if you can see this is how I'm just doing it so we'll just have to work a little with this and then um, so that you'll get the idea so only the lines with with the liner brush those who are not very confident in making the lines with the brush can also use a brush pen for that now I will be doing the outline for the face the eye also so the eyes are big all white the ear you can make lines to show the lean uh, leanness of the body if you want you can make a mustache and see that's how I'll just try to bring it more close and that's how the mustache is over here for, so I think it's only one male that we have it here just doing the outline here now may, some of the detailings will come with the white color I'll just show you side curves of the body of the female you can make the navel if it's you have the place for that all the drawing will have a black outline the face the lips everything eyebrow was totally gone with this so I'm just doing it again this one so this is done and I will be adding some white in it with the same liner brush it's important to take out white at a separate place my palette is all exhausted so I'll just take it out in a little cup over here it has to be pure white break the body of the paint means you just add by adding just one drop of water do not add do not add too much and then we will be starting to do the a little of the the flow of your brush should be really beautiful to give these
this so this adds much bright effect to this for the ladies if in case you want you can add two three layers that's it not too much of accessory bangles and just straight lines for bangles and this is the armlet earring for both men and women there is bird feather sticking on the head for detail i mean like accessory that is the only accessory you can just put these dots symbolizes only the flowers any print on the dress uh, would be only dots and nothing more so i'll just show you what dots how to add those so your strokes have to be very forceful when you do such work these are all painted as in painted not here on the paper otherwise also they painted so it's only three dots just one single bands for ladies these on the hair is very important for any detail or any um, if there is any accessory they have it's only from the plants and the animals white lines are just giving the highlights to this the body is bare and it's only one unstitched cloth wrapped around for males the upper body is all always bare and for the ladies they are wrapped just with that cloth sometimes we see that even their um, uh, uh, bodies as in like the chest area you will see that it's not covered too well so but here just to keep it a little more decent i've covered it all and how to give the effects for this one this is the ear earring for both of them and this is the a little decoration on the hair so this is the piece of yeah this finishes it and i will show you the glimpse of it here in the straight camera i'm so sorry about this what happened today and but yeah i'm happy that we could manage to completing this picture and this is how it comes i hope you like it this is a type of a, this is a, their santhali dance and in the next session of ours we will um, do the sorai painting and that is also santhal painting it's not different so if if you say santhal paintings and sorai paintings they are not different sorai is a type of uh santhal painting just like when we talk about madhubani madhubani kachni bharni godna uh, tantric all are the styles of madhubani painting there are different five st styles and the cover also so those are different styles in madhubani and when we talk about the santhal sorai is a part of santhal painting 
so we'll just you'll get more clarity on it in our next videos where we will be doing the sorai art and the motif art uh, some good fine hair brushes jyoti jyoti um, no, you can actually go with um, camel also if you're a beginner with this lining for the lining practice camelin also gives a specialty brush liner brush that is good uh, there is no end to uh, this and you can just browse in sometimes we do get in the art stores or the place where you live if you have a art store who exclusively sells the um, this um, specialty brushes or the art brushes then you will get the liner brush on the net also amazon and other uh, online shops also do sell them so just uh, see to it that it is thin and the bristles are longer so that you can uh, have a good the water content or the um, uh, paint that it contains holds on is more and then you can just go endlessly doing your work without disturbing the thickness of the line so there uh, thank you smita thank you so much i hope you all liked it and uh, yes as i already said you can do a lot with this with this painting and i really want to do a fabric with this painting that is one thing that i would be doing um, there is also there are a few themes in this which i will talk uh, right now there are a few things like the fish viva like um, uh, there's an importance for uh, of the fish uh, marriage so there is a lot of beautiful beautiful bright fishes all coming together and it looks very beautiful um if time permits we will just do that as well um and that that's a very big con that's a good concept also and you will see and it's getting very popular uh, popular because of its striking uh, bright colors also so we will do that also but next our workshop will be sorai uh, we can do the fish viva um Matsya Vivaha or the fish marriage is considered very auspicious and in Madhubani also you will see those um, coupling fishes or the pair of two fish they symbolizes fertility and the same is with the Santhal painting so Santhal also because it is very close to the West Bengal the people have moved in their fish auspiciously and also holds a lot of importance in their life like the life giver the food uh, for them so it's uh, like we worship our crops they worship the fish also because that's the main source for um, food as well and their livelihood uh, apart from that there are a lot of symbols people um, pray fish for different reasons in different cultures we will talk about that when we will do the uh, matsya veva uh, picture of santhal so thank you all for sparing your weekend with me and I will see you next time with a new workshop and possibly with the um, Matsya Viva also. So thank you so much and have a nice weekend. See you next time. Thank you.